everyone i would like to present a beautiful poem title of the poem is a new day is born written by meera krishnan at the crack of a dawn a new day is born the owls yawn a baby deer is calling for little birds walk to each other they spoke good morning good morning slowly the sun started shining spreading it a light with all its might the cattle move in the meadow squirrels play in the tree shadows and little calf jump around it's a mother who is born the farmers in the field busy counting the ears and lazy bones are still asleep dreaming of bleeding sheep dreaming of bleeding sheep thank you
you can't be the musky, then just be a bus. But the liveliest bus in the lake. Be the best, best, best. Be the best, best, best. If you can't be the captains, we have got to be too. And there is something for all of us here. Yeah. There is big work to do and there is lesser to do. And the task we must do is yeah. Be the best, best, best. Be the best, best, best. If you can't be the highway, then just be a truck. If you can't be the sun, be a star. Be a star. It isn't by the size that you win or fail. Be the best of whatever you are. Be the best of whatever you are. Thank you. Good morning to respected judges, teachers and my dear friends. I am Rohan, studying 6th class. Today I am going to narrate a story. The title of my story is The Gift. Ant Man was getting ready to graduate from the university. For a long time he had admired a beautiful sports car. And knowing that his father could well afford it, he told his father that was all he wanted. At the graduation day of course, he began looking the signs that his father bought the car. Finally in the morning of his graduation day, his father called him in a study and told how much proud he was to have such a fine son and how much he loved him. He gave a beautiful box. Curious but somewhat disappointed, the young man opened the box and saw a leather bounded Bible named and Boys in Gold. Angry, he raised his voice on his father and said, With all your money, you gave me a Bible? and stormed out of the house. Many years passed, he was very successful in his own business. He thought, I have a wonderful home, a beautiful family and my father is very old. I think I have to visit him because he hasn't spoken to him since love at graduation day. Before he could make any arrangements, he received a telegram telling his father had passed away. So he need to go to the home and take care of things. When he reached the home, sadness and regret filled his heart. And he thought, I should have respected my dad. When he saw the Bible which he had left years ago, his eyes were filled with tears. He picked up the Bible and read the words. He observed something that his father had underlined the words. Matthew 7th chapter 11th verse If you then being evil, how to give good gifts to your children? How much more your father which is in heaven will give good gifts to all those who ask him. When he was reading that, if a card fell down and he, when he read that, he thought that was the dealer's card and it was the date of a loud ad graduation day. These words paid in full. The moral of the story, many times we have missed our blessings. Because it's not the part in a way we expect many times. I think we should give value whatever our parents have given us. Because some not even get that. We don't get what we expect every time. But uh, we would uh, wait uh, for, the, uh, for that. Thank you. Hello everybody, I am Preeti Sneha from class 60A. Today, I am going to narrate a story before you. The title of my story is The Bitter Sapling. Once, a king went to a holy man and said, I have everything the king can decide for, but I am not happy as my only son is very spoiled. And as is my only son, I have fulfilled every woman fancy of his. So he has become very rude towards his elders and cruel to, to his servants, said the king. The holy man asked the king to send his son to him. The king readily agreed, hoping for a change in his son's behavior. When the prince came to meet him, he rudely said, Why I have been called old man? The holy man did not say anything to the prince for his rudeness. He simply told him to pluck a leaf from the name sapling and chew it. 
When the prince chewed it, it was bitter, so he got angry and he said, Such a bitter supple should not be allowed to grow. It becomes more bitter when it grows. So he pulled out the neem sapple from the ground and threw it. Then the holy man said, Can't you much like that neem sapple? You have collected so much of bitterness inside you. You are a rude, unkind and disobedient and disobedient prince. When you will become the king, people will hate you and will want to remove you like you did with the neem sapling. The prince bowed his head and realized his mistake. He thanked the holy man for teaching him such a good lesson. And the king also thanked him for imparting wisdom of his son. The moral of the story is Bad qualities like poison not only destroy you, but it causes bitterness in those around you. Thank you. Very good morning to everyone. Myself Rajeshwari, 9th standard from St. Anne's High School, Gundupalli. Together we will unleash girls' power in all its dimensions. Said by Lakshmi Puri, the UN Women Deputy Executive Director. During the UN commemoration of the International Day of the Girl Child, 2017, October 12, let me say that too often adolescent girls face intersecting disadvantages because of their age, gender, ethnic background, income disabilities, among other component factors. The perception and reality of vulnerability arising out of these multiple intersectionalities really create the context of discrimination and differentiated impact of crisis. During conflict or humanitarian situations, natural disasters or climatic changes, these factors disproportionately affect and women and girls due to neglect of their human rights and gender inequalities. Imagine that today women and children account more than 75% of the refuses and displaced persons at risk from war, famine and natural disasters. Every 10 minutes, somewhere in the world, an adolescent girl dies because of violence. Imagine that more than 700 millions of women alive today were married before the age of 18 and more than 1 in 3 were married before 13. Female not only face inequality in this culture, but they are even denied the right to be born. Right from the day one in the mother's womb, there is no security because many families selectively abort baby daughters. Who will save us? When CRY, Child Right and You conducted a rapid assessment survey in the slums of Madiwala on girl child education, over 40% of the parents interviewed said that their children faced abuse in schools or on their way to school. So even there is no security in some of the schools. Who will save us? Even in colleges and universities, we are afraid of going to our friend's house, relative's house or even neighbor's house also. Don't know how safely we reach our home once we step out. Who will save us? Finally, after completing our education, we secure a good job with lots of hopes and dreams. And they start insecure problems with colleagues, cab drivers, program managers, what not. Who will save us? Tell her it in all such incidents, parents decide marriage is the one and only solution for our security. And they start the insecure problems with husband, uncle, aunt and in-laws like leaking gas, pouring kerosene and hanging to fans. Who will save us? Now starts the solution. No one comes to save us. No one comes to save us. No parents, friends, relatives, policemen or the government will come to save us. We ourselves should be strong. Both Hello everyone. My name is Abhinav. I am from 7th C. Let us have a look at today's news headlines. Coronavirus which has been spreaded over 5 plus countries in the world. After that, the WHO calculated that 50 lakhs of the people died due to the coronavirus. Sundar Pichai, who was born at Tamil Nadu and he was the CEO of Google and he was about to develop a new Google app, Google app with his teammates for his customers easy use. Mark Zuckerberg, who was the CEO of Facebook, has changed the name of Facebook into Meta. Today's educational news. 
Amavadi, the educational fund of 14,000 rupees to every children to be given in the month of November. Today's sports news. In the match of Sri Lanka and the West Indies, Sri Lanka win the match by the half centuries of P. Nisanka and C. Aslanka. In the match of India vs Afghanistan, India wins the match by the half century of KL Rahul and Rohit Sharma and three wickets by Mohammad Shemi. Today we had a match of India vs Scotland. Let's see who will win this match. It is an important match for India to win and qualify for the Super 12. Thank you.